Hello, everyone, and welcome to week 11 of Celebrate Wonder. I am Miss Lori, and this is Laud the Lamb from Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and I'm waiting on Pastor Meredith. And she, um, hmm, we have a problem. Yes, I can see she's sleeping, Laud, but. I got a, I don't know how she fell asleep doing this, but she did. All right, we'll try and wake her up. Um, Pastor Meredith. Excuse me, just one second. Pastor Meredith. I hope she's not drooling. Oh, Pastor Meredith. Oh, I'm drooling. Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, hey, Laurie. Hi, guys. I, I was really, really sleepy and I was waiting for us to get started and I felt, I'm so sorry. I felt so Well, we've kind of already started. Oh, so that's Pastor Meredith. Yeah. Okay. Week 11. Oh, okay. Week 11. I, I'll get ready. Should, should we go to our wonder table? I'm so sorry, y'all. Week 11. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see you there. Okay, hello everyone. We're now at our wonder table and we're gonna start by lighting our candle. Right, Lon? Mm-hmm, yeah. Remember, we light the candle, not the lamb. Okay, see how I do today. You're doing good, Miss Laurie. Starting off well here. Okay, don't forget, her word is guide for what we're working on right now. So that's why I have my lantern here. If I were gonna go in a cave or something, I might take this or if we lost power, which I think a lot of people have had that experience this winter time. I'm so glad we're getting into spring. I have my map back here. That's one of the things that I use as a guide sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the cross that's back there, that's a good guide too. I, th I think so too. Mm -hmm. You know, in our Bible story today, uh, we have a boat in our Bible story. And I have my little paper boat here. Oh. Have you ever been in a boat, Miss Laurie? What was I it like? have been on boats and I really like boats. Mm. I like boats a lot. I do too. I like being out in the middle of the water. I even like going up and down on the waves. It's like riding a roller coaster. I like it a lot too. You know what I don't like though? What? I was once on a boat in a storm. I didn't like that very much. That is tough. Well, and that's what our Bible story is about today, isn't it? In our Bible story, and we hope that you all will read this together in your household. It is found in, in Mark chapter four, verses 35 through 41. And in this story, Jesus has been teaching a large crowd of people, but he wants to take some time away with his disciples. So they all get in a boat. They're at um, the Sea of Galilee and they get in a boat together. And Jesus is so tired from teaching and doing all the things that he's been doing and ministering and healing. He's so tired, he falls asleep right in the boat. But soon a storm hits while they're in the boat. And, um, the disciples are so scared and they're afraid, but Jesus is still, he's just sleeping in the boat. So um, they wake him up because uh, they were so worried that they might be overtaken by the water and drown and they wake him up. And Jesus though remains really calm and he gets up and he calms the storm. And then he asks the disciples why it is that they are scared as if, almost a little bit like their feelings of fear are unnecessary, which is a little weird, right? Because we know that our feelings are okay. It's okay to have our feelings. It can kind of leave us confused, but it also can kind of leave us with a sense of awe and wonder. Jesus just calmed the storm. He woke up, he addressed what was going on, and the disciples were amazed. That is pretty amazing as a Bible story. Yeah. So I have a question for you. We're, we want to encourage you, if you have your wonder cube, roll your wonder cube and ask some questions and do some wondering together. But um, also in your activity guide, 
are a list of questions there that you can wonder about. And one of them has, have you ever been in a storm and what happened? What about you, Miss Laurie? Well, you know, every spring we go through a lot of storms. Mm -hmm. And it's usually all okay. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I get a little scared, especially sometimes when we have to go to the basement you know, when they tell us you have to go to the basement. Yeah. That's a little scary. And I usually do say a prayer. Yeah, me too. I think it can be scary in storms, particularly when that rain really gets going and the thunder and the lightning and the wind is really howling. That can all be scary. Yeah. But, and then sometimes we have to go to the basement so that we can be safe. But usually the storm passes, right? Right. You know what? I usually like it outside after the storm has passed. I like the smells and the quiet and you usually hear the birds starting to chirp again. And I always wonder what they're saying, you know, like, oh, that was a good one or whoo. Yeah. Managed through. Well, you know, um, what do you think if you had been one of the disciples, let's wonder if you had been one of the disciples in that boat and you discovered Jesus sleeping during the storm, what would you have done? I would have woke him up. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jesus, we have a problem. <laughs> and how do you not hear this? Right. Me too. And how is it that, let's think, wonder about how it is that Jesus is a guide in the story. Mm. I think that Jesus guides the disciples and us to help us to remember that God loves us even in the middle of storms and that it's going to be okay eventually. You know, the Bible says a lot of times to not be afraid. Mm. We have to remember that. That is true. Well, we should uh, check out our Bible story video that is ready for us right now with more about our Bible story. Does that sound good, Laurie and Laud? I think so. Let's do it. Let's do it. Greetings, I'm Samuel. In today's story, Jesus is in a boat with his disciples. After a long day of teaching, Jesus is tired and is ready to cross the lake. When he gets in the boat, Jesus falls asleep. While he's sleeping, a storm comes and rocks the boat back and forth. The disciples get really scared. I would be too. They wake up Jesus and ask him how he can sleep when the boat is rocking so hard. Jesus tells the wind to calm down and the waters became calm again. Whoa, the disciples were amazed. After Jesus calms the storm, he says to the disciples, why are you frightened? Don't you have faith yet? In this moment, Jesus reminds us that our faith is not just important during good times. Jesus shows us to have faith when things are hard too. One time, the power went out in my house and I was in my room alone and I was really scared because I don't like the dark. I left my room and went to find my parents. I always feel safe with them, and I knew I would feel better when I got to them. When I got to their room, they gave me a big hug and reminded me that I would be okay. They also gave me a flashlight, which made the dark not as scary. After they gave me the flashlight, they told me this story. My dad said the disciples were scared in their storm too. Jesus came and he calmed it. Jesus also reminded them to have faith, even when it's hard too. I was still a little scared, but the story gave me hope. My parents took out more flashlights so that we could make shadow animals on the wall with them. I realized everything was okay, even though it started off scary. Jesus shows us what to do in difficult times, in times of trouble. We can use Jesus as a guide. This can be hard when you're afraid and you don't know what to do. Remember, Jesus is with us in every situation. Whether you are feeling really good or having a really hard time, even when it's hard, you can have faith. Now it's your turn to wonder. So it is week 11, and this is a really fun week. You have your week 11 baggie, and we have 
in there we have a pillowcase, which is fun. And we have some permanent markers. Now, let me remind you, they are permanent markers, okay? You might need some grown-up assistance with this. So we have our things. And I would recommend you need to get some cardboard to put in between so it doesn't bleed through onto the back of your pillowcase or onto whatever you're drawing on. So I just went and got in the trash can and I got a, a piece of cardboard in our recycling. And I'm gonna slide that in here just like this. And then I have my workspace. Well, that's my clock, sorry. Okay, so we have our workspace and I have, I have my pillowcase. So this is gonna help to give you some peaceful sleep maybe, help you rest. So think about things that you might want to put on this. Now, our word for this is guide. So I'm actually gonna write the word guide on my pillowcase, help me to remember for Jesus to guide me, okay? Sometimes we need that to remember. So remember, it's not gonna be perfect because we're drawing on a pillowcase. Well, let's see. I you might need to get your markers working a little bit here. I'm actually gonna draw on the cardboard a little. My blue doesn't want to work. Hmm, let's try another color. Green. You working better green? Yep, he is. Okay. So my word. Is guide. So I've written my word and then you can decorate all around it. I think I am eventually going to add some flowers because I'm really ready for spring. I don't know about you guys, but add some flowers, some decorations. You can decorate it however you would like. Just don't forget the cardboard to put inside of it and make sure an adult knows you're doing it and it's okay where you're doing it. Okay. Have fun, guys. Bye. Hi, grownups. It's time for our spiritual practice for this week. And our spiritual practice for this week involves blowing some bubbles. So if you have some bubbles, and you're likely to if you have kids at your house, somewhere in your house, get your bubbles out and blow them. And you can watch how bubbles get bigger and get smaller, and then they disappear as a way to remember that, you know, our feelings and our fears can be that way too. Sometimes they feel so big and overwhelming, but you know what? We can give them to God. We can pray. We can get involved in service. It helps those fears and those troubles go right away and helps them feel not so overwhelming. Now, if you don't have bubbles at your house, you can do this when you're washing dishes at your sink. You can do this when you're taking a shower, maybe when you're bathing a kid, and just enjoy how the bubbles help you to remember that those fears are not so overwhelming. Ooh, that was a pretty good one. Let's do another one. Love you all. Enjoy blowing those bubbles this week. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us again for Celebrate Wonder. Don't forget your celebration chart. Fill that out. What do you think, Lod? Yeah? Okay. Now, at the end, we're going to do something kind of fun. We're going to try to make a storm with ourselves. What do you think? We can do it. All right. We are going to start, Pastor Meredith, we're going to start by rubbing our hands together. Okay, everybody rub your hands together. Real fast. Then we can snap our fingers. 
might sound a little bit like lightning or rain or any of those things. And you can clap your hands together. That definitely sounds like lightning. Mm -hmm. You can pat your legs. Yeah, stomp your feet. I'm not gonna flicker the lights because it's daytime right now and I don't even know that you'd be able to tell, right? Yeah, so if you do those things really fast together, you've made a storm. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Time? Let's do it one more time. Okay, okay. ladies, Miss Laurie, join with us, everybody. Rub our hands. Snap your fingers. Clap your hands. Pat your legs. Snap your feet. You can even do those two things together. And pretend we're flickering lights. And then we can calm our storm. I actually feel better. I do too. Shall we pray? I think we should. Well, let's pray together. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Who calms the storm. Who calms the storm. And helps us have faith. And helps us have faith. Amen. Amen. All right. Don't forget to stick around for a few minutes for our song video for today so that you can sing along. And it's been great to see everybody. We love you. It's great to have Celebrate Wonder together. Thanks. Bye, guys.
We fall.